Hi guys, it's Amy and welcome to my channel in this edition of No Buy, Low Buy, or Go Buy. This is a series that I do on my channel where I talk about new makeup releases and whether or not I would no buy, low buy, or go buy them. I take the first 10 makeup posts in the Trend Mood 1 Instagram account and I discuss my thoughts and upon my first impression of seeing said product and whether or not I would no buy, low buy, or go buy them. So I have Trend Mood 1 as Instagram account open right now in front of me. I have my trusty magnifying glass to help me see. And we're just gonna go ahead and start. Um, and I will preface this by saying that I am no longer on a no buy. So my opinions may or may not change, but I'm kinda trying to keep the low buy, no buy thing going just a little bit because God knows <laughs> I don't need any more makeup. I have tons of makeup already. Um, so I'm going to try and stick to that theme, if that makes sense. So we're going to go to the um, page and we're going to, if I can see the first thing. Okay, now this looks like it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics and it's a putty eye primer. I'm going to stick it over here um, so you guys can see what it is. Um, so it's a putty eye primer at locks eyeshadow for 12 hours uh, and it's crease proof wear infused with vegan squalene known to moisturize throughout the day five shades five dollars each okay i can't believe i read that without my glasses but anyway here it is i think this is a great idea i looking at it and thinking when i first looked at it it's kind of a knockoff or take on the mac paint pots um, eyeshadow primers are all the rage. Uh, I was just thinking about this the other day. I was just thinking about the fact that what did I do before I used eyeshadow primer? And then I thought about it and I'm like, did I ever not use eyeshadow primer? I can't remember because um, maybe back in the day when I wasn't really wearing makeup for YouTube or on a daily basis, didn't really ever use eyeshadow primer. But I like that it comes in five shades and it looks like the shade range um, goes from like a white to a deep, uh, deeper shade, which is great because it has multiple shades for multiple skin tones. So I really like that. It's five dollars, you know, they're five dollars each. You can't really beat the price. I don't need something like this. Uh, in fact, I'm plenty good on eyeshadow primers. I am looking for a new one, but I don't think this one would be it. So let's go on to number two. And, whew, okay, it's an eyeshadow palette. Um, and it's a eyeshadow palette by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Well, well, well. Love me some Pinky Rose Cosmetics. If you guys didn't know about Pinky Rose Cosmetics, Pinky Rose Cosmetics is based here in Sacramento, California, which is where I'm from. I don't live in Sacramento. I live right outside of Sacramento, but it's the same difference. And this is a very exciting eyeshadow palette. I love that it has little lightning bolts. I hate alternative shapes for eyeshadows. Um, so, yeah, no bueno on um, the shapes of the uh, pants, but I like the color scheme. I think it's really cute. Um, and it's a collab with Stormy, whoever Stormy is. Um, and it is 10 different shades, has sparkly shimmery shades on the bottom row and matte bright shades on the top row. Great idea. I love the concept of it having matte and shimmer and having an equal amount. Now, if I'm going to look at an eyeshadow palette, I want more mattes in it than shimmers. I'm one of those people for every three mattes, you should have a shimmer. So it's like a three to one ratio or, you know, one to three ratio for me. That's kind of my thing. So there's a little too many shimmers in here for my taste. Um, even though I like the color scheme and even though it's Pinky Rose Cosmetics, I'm going to say no buy on this. Not because I don't like the look of the colors. I think the colors are really actually... Um, I think I have swatches too. Now the swatch photo is a little crazy, but they look really pigmented and uh, yeah, and bright, especially that yellow. Whoa, that's crazy. That's a crazy yellow, but I don't need this, so I'm not going to buy it, but hey, it's not bad. It's not, I'm not going to shake, you can't say, shake it with a stick. I like the colors in it. So let's go on to product number three. Okay, so the next thing is a liquid lipstick release from Sugar Pill, but these are not new shades as far as I can see. They're three of their best-selling shades, and because it says best-selling liquid lip color um, from Sugar Pill. Now, you can buy them as a set, I think, or you can buy them uh, individually. They're $18 each, but I think you save a little money buying them as a set because the set is $46 because 
18 times 4 is, or 18 times 3, is that 46? No, I think it's, it's that's, that's more than 46. So if you buy them as a set, you get a better deal. But this is a no-buy for me. Don't need any lips. <sighs> liquid lipsticks. I can't believe people are still making them, to be frank with you. These are matte liquid lipsticks. I know that there's a select few people out there that still like liquid lipsticks that are matte. I've never really gotten on with those. I think I tried to get on with them like just about everybody else uh, on the face of the earth when they be, were a popular thing. Um, the staying power is great, but nine times out of ten, they're pretty darn um, drying. And I, I've heard semi-good things about the Sugar Pill formula. I've always wanted to try Sugar Pill, but this would not be it. If I'm going to try anything from Sugar Pill, it's going to be an eyeshadow palette. And I've had my eye on that fun size eyeshadow palette because it's super, super cute. The colors are very light and pastel but I hear they're very pigmented so I'm probably going to try that at some point as long as it's not limited edition and you can't get it anymore but that's not liquid lipsticks are not my my gig so let me see what number four is so the next item is from Kat Von D and these are blushes they're their everlasting blushes from Kat Von D love the shades I think they're beautiful shades don't need any blush and I'm not the biggest fan of Kat Von D anymore um, I don't really like her stance on no vaccination, but I also, you know, have to say that it's her decision if that's what she wants to do, even though I don't agree with it. <laughs> that's what she wants to do, but she's not the most popular person in the world, but that doesn't mean um, I should poo-poo whatever she comes out with, but I don't need blush. That's something I definitely don't need. Blush and, hot and eyeshadow palettes are my weakness, but I'm not going to fall for this one. Love the idea of it. It's, it looks like she's got um, liquid lips as well. Um, Everlasting blush with a long, uh, petal soft blush, long wear with a soft matte finish. And then she has a liquid lipstick, um, XO vinyl liquid cream lipstick set. So it's not a set, but they're, they're also, she's also releasing these, uh, they're cream liquid lipsticks, which is better than regular liquid lipsticks. Don't need any of this. So I'm just going to say no to Kat Von D and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek is rebranding. They've been in the rebranding phase for quite some time. Um, we haven't seen a lot from Makeup Geek. I don't have much Makeup Geek. I have two eyeshadows from Makeup Geek, but I love them. And um, I'm hearing tell that she um, is releasing, you know, or decommissioned a lot of her old shades and is releasing new ones. It looks like they're going to be square pans. You know what? Not mad at it, but, you know, most people prefer round pans, but these are pretty. This is just one eyeshadow shade um, that I can tell, but I don't need any more eyeshadow, as you guys will know. So this is another no buy for me. But I do want to go on record as saying I'm super excited for Marlena. She is expecting and she's happy and that's great. Um, I can never get enough of somebody's pregnancy posts. I'm not one of those people that gets tired of that. I think pregnancy is beautiful. I think babies are beautiful. Super excited for her and I'm super excited hopefully for her for what this year is going to bring. Baby first new makeup launches from Makeup Geek. Definitely she needs to get back on the map. Just saying. Um, so hopefully that happens for her. But I'm going to say no buy for this one. Now the next thing is from ColourPop Cosmetics and it is part of their Lunar New Year. Before I talk about Lunar New Year, I'm super excited because next year is the year of the rat. And I am a rat. I was born in 1972. So if you do the math and it's 2020, that would make me 48 this year. I'm going to be 48 in October. So anyway, excited to celebrate the year of the rat. I'm not as into Lunar New Year, obviously, because I don't celebrate Lunar New Year, but I have many friends that do, so I get kind of into it because I get a few envelopes at work once in a while from uh, my from my from some of my Chinese friends, but this is the year of the rat, so it's a full collection. It comes with cheek products, lip products. Um, what else does it come with? It says... Um, it says liquid, liquid, liquid lipsticks, a white tea face milk, and uh, from fourth ray beauty and what else it looks like a face some face products but anyway this is lunar new year guys i have to say 
love the look of this I love the uh, imprint on the shadow or the blush um, and it the other one you know if you have the lid it has it has a rat on it I hate rats but I am the year of the rat so I have a tiny itty bitty maybe sort of soft spot but these look like um, highlights maybe one might look like a glowy blush on me but the uh, lip colors are really really pretty they're red reds and corals what do you think? I mean, come on, I'm wearing one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, which is Love Drunk from um, Urban Decay. It's one of their Comfort Matte Vice Liquid Lipsticks, or Vice, not Liquid Lipsticks, Vice Cream Lipsticks. Can we, can we just be like, yes, reds, but this is more of a berry, and these are more reds and corals. So pretty. Um, no, not buying it, but alas, it's beautiful. Okay, so look, next thing is a Bye Bye Foundation from It Cosmetics, and it is Bye Bye Oil Free uh, Three Piece Complexion Set, Bye Bye Foundation Oil Free Matte Full Coverage Moisturizer, okay, with SPF 50 sunscreen, very good. Don't always, I've learned, don't rely on your base products for sunscreen. Use a sunscreen and then your base face products. Thank you, Kelly Gooch, for that very very important piece of information okay the second thing is a bye bye foundation powder um, tinted finishing powder with a natural matte looking finish and heavenly by heavenly lex bye bye foundation skin perfecting and buffing brush so this doesn't look like it's a foundation um, it's uh, it's a complexion set so it comes with because I think they already have an oil free bye bye foundation bye bye um, um, you know uh, what is it CC cream I think they already have a matte version so I think these are intended to go with that so you know what truthfully um, if this was something that I needed I might consider it um, because I you know I tend to moisturize at night I don't really moisturize during the day um, so this wouldn't be good for me under makeup but I like the I like the concept of it but I don't need it. So we're going to move on to the next thing. Okay, this is another eyeshadow palette from, I believe, it is from Glamlight. And this looks to be what's called the Cake Palette. It's very cute. It's very cute. Very bright, very punchy. Um, I really want to try Glamlight. Really, really bad. But I don't need this. I have all these colors except maybe the lime green. Um, that's the only one I don't have really I think I have every other color in here and it's just a primary palette with a couple of neutrals in there neutrals it's a relative thing you know some people don't think oranges and brown you know oranges and yellows are neutrals they're neutrals for me but they're not neutrals for everybody else they are very colorful it's a colorful palette don't need this kind of want to try glam light but I'm gonna pass on it so the next thing is da -da. um okay just just something new we don't have a full information on it tati beauty as something new is coming january 10th okay whatever it is i'm not gonna buy it that's all i'm gonna say about that no offense to tati no offense to anybody that loves tati but i don't need any new makeup and i certainly don't need anything from tati sorry that's a no buy for me Okay, so the next thing is another Farsali product, and it is coming in the Trend Mood box, and it's a liquid powder oil balancing serum with French pink clay. A liquid powder oil balancing serum with French pink clay from Farsali. Hmm. Well, I like this. An oil balancing serum with French pink clay. It's a serum. It's oil balancing. But it's from Farsali and it's expensive. But this is something I would want to buy. Because I like the sound of it. Because it sounds like something that would really work for me. So this is, you know, watch reviews and maybe get it. Hopefully it comes in a mini. Don't know. Because let's see how much this thing is. $54, oh lord. I don't think I like it that much. <laughs> but if it was less afford if it was more affordable, I would definitely consider it an oil balancing serum. 
Mm, I'm a sucker for the sound of that. So that would be uh, January 15th. It comes out. It comes out in the trend mood box. I'm not getting the trend mood box. If this is only a trend mood box scenario, then I would never have it because I'm not going to buy a beauty box. Except maybe the Tribe Beauty Box. I'm thinking about it. Okay, somebody's somebody's in the room. Could you hear? Do you want to come say hi? Can you come here? Hi, I gotta go. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it for a second. Say hello to everybody. They love seeing you. Hi, guys. Remember, put your makeup on and make sure it's okay and think of it. Right, bye. Okay. Say bye, nice. Bye, nice. <laughs> Fine eyes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stop the madness. Okay. So I think the last item, I'm going to talk about two more items. So the next item is from Pat McGrath. I know this just by the picture. It is a one of her lipsticks. It's, I don't know what formula it is, but it is a, a matte trans lipstick and they're trios from Pat McGrath. Color Blitz and Skin Show. Love the packaging because they're bright and cheerful and stuff like that. Um, but they're just basic colors. So I don't quite understand the concept of her making them colored bullets. Lord knows I wouldn't want to wear any of those colors, maybe except like the fuchsia. That's the only color I would want to wear if these were actually physically um, the color of the, the um, lipstick bullet or the um, actual packaging. So. One of them is a nude set, and one of them is a peachy set. Now, I'm looking at these pictures, and call me crazy. Oh, okay. I don't know which set this is, but but those lip colors look all the same. Are they, are they, are they supposed to be all the same? But there's only three that we're showing, but if those are three different lipsticks in the set, shouldn't they all look different? But they're on different skin tones, so there's one that's called Christy, this one's called Beautiful Stranger, and the other one is called uh, Flesh, is it Flesh 3? Flesh 3. So that's only one set. Oh no, let's see. And the second set is um, some reds with, the, with some browns. Okay, beautiful colors. Yeah, no, I don't need it. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna talk about, oh, it looks like it's Pat McGrath. And it's Pat McGrath Lunar New Year, and you have an eyeshadow palette, which is right here, and uh, it looks like eyeshadow palette and uh, mini, lip, mini lip gloss trios. Okay, <sighs> Pat McGrath did, a, did something to me that made me really, like, mess me up pretty hard. She did a um, Star Wars set. <sighs> And I almost fell for it, just simply because it was Star Wars. I'm not going to give in to that, and I'm not going to give in to this either. Love that it's Lunar New Year, love that it's a year they're at, but I don't need it, so I'm not going to buy it, and that's all there is to it. That is my edition this time of No Buy, Low Buy, or Go Buy. The only thing that I'm really like tempted by is that Farsali Oil Control Serum with Pink Clay. If I could, I would. $54 now. So I guess it's all a no buy on everything. If I could get that, I'll, that maybe on sale or as a mini, then I would go for it. But that's it, guys. That's all I've got to say about it to this week. Um, hopefully we'll do this weekly. I will do my very, very best. If you guys like this video, this style of video, it's kind of similar to a Will I Buy It video and slash anti-haul, so it's kind of a unique take on that concept, um, including both into one. So if you liked it, do be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, thank you for considering and watching this video. Hope you will subscribe. To all of my subscribers, hello. Thank you for staying subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. And that is it. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Oh, well, it's Monday now. So it's Sunday as I film this. So I hope you had a good weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.